Hey folks, here's Rod with Win by Doing Against, along with special guest star Izzy. That's going to be my assistant. Today we are going to unbox a lot of trains and miscellaneous. I haven't looked through the entire box. I kind of fumbled through it when I was at a garage sale yesterday. They had $50 on the entire box, and I asked them if they would take $40. They had a backpack, a hiking trail pack, sitting there next to it and said, how about 45 and we'll throw the backpack in as well. So I said, you know what, let's do it. So as you watch me unbox this, if you have uh, any information that you want to throw in and add, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you think it was a good purchase, bad purchase, throw those comments down below as well. Anyway, without anything, any further ado, let's go. First, I'm going to show the entire box as it sat in the garage sale. So, one second. So, as you can see, hopefully with the lighting there, it was a substantial amount, I feel. It's a pretty good sized box. That shows probably about, I don't know, eight, 10 inches deep by about two and a half feet long by maybe two feet wide at its widest point. Some of the trains have box in boxes, but let's go through and see what we have because I haven't gone through the entire box. Let's go ahead and sit that down, Izzy. Okay, Izzy's just gonna start handing me stuff and I'm gonna pile it off to the side as we go through this so you can see what we've got here. The first item we have, and I don't see my tape measure to get an exact measurement of it, it is a train display. As you can see in there, I mean it is it is pretty dusty, it's going to need to be cleaned. It's got a plexiglass, fairly thick, I would say close to an eighth of an inch thick plexiglass, and it's got train track along with what it looks like stone matting there that to represent or replicate the stone that you'd see along the track this is actually for looking at the width this looks like it is for the in scale train i did have to learn what n versus h o and there's different scales of trains out there i sold um Ignorance on my part, the last little trains I sold, I thought HO was a brand of the trains and the tracks that I had, but it turns out that it was actually the scale that I was listing as HO ended up being N scale, and I think that's exactly what this is. It didn't have any markings. I guess it does. Case by Bill, made in Oregon. So it looks like it was a custom made case. Ouch. Okay, well that just knocked some value off of it. Only kidding, it did not break. So, it, I'm just going to go with the fact that there there is a small scuff right on the inside. Well, we'll see. Hopefully that will buff right out. I, I don't think you'll be able to pick that up on the screen. My green screen effect is throwing me off there so anyway I would say probably a good I don't know maybe two two and a half feet long there let me sit that off to the side it's a little bit shorter than the box though so it is okay the next thing these are model power get a good look up. This is still in box. I'm, I will probably list this as used. This is the 40, 80, 50, 40 foot hopper Santa Fe. You can see right there. I'm not sure the year on these. I haven't really done any research in these trains. I just thought for 40 bucks, well, let's just call it 40 even though I paid 45 and got the free, the backpack thrown in. This is the same brand. This is a number 9125 transfer caboose. You can see that right there, still in, in the box. I may have to adjust my green screen there. We were playing with colors because I know my colors have been a little bit messed up on my videos. So 
as time goes by, hopefully I will uh, be able to perfect that. Okay, she hands me this mess. So let's go through each piece. This one right here, I'm just looking over to see if it has any damage. It doesn't appear to have any damage. The locking mechanism seems to be fine. The wheels seem to be fine. They are dusty. This is a Bachman, B-A-C-H-M-A-N, Erie Lackawanna cushioned car. I can see my green screen is going to play havoc on this. We'll hold that up a little closer, let it focus in. Just to give you an idea. That gives me the best color representation right there. So that one is loose. Out of the uh, th that one does not come in the original packaging. Here's an engine. This is this is a Bachman B A C H M A N N. I guess these are um, pretty popular in the train world. It does have some weight to it. We'll go ahead and show you that Santa Fe Railroad engine. And it does appear to be in pretty decent condition as well. The hooks seem to be all there. I'll be interested to see if, the, if it lights up, what it does. We do plan on, at the tail end of this video, we do plan on trying to hook some of this up and see if we can get a train rolling down the tracks. Okay, I'm going to keep all these little pieces that I find. This is a little piece of something or other. We, in this particular pack, it looks like we do have one, two, three, four, eight pieces of track. They're all curved sections. And did, are they all curved the same? Yeah, they're all, they're all curved the same. So, and those should go together. Yeah, just like so. So it looks like we'll at least be able to get a circle going. <laughs> we'll see. So those, there's some track there. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And it did have this controller. This is a, just a DC track. It has different speeds, forward and reverse, um, off. I don't see a maker mark on that, so let's see. Caution, electrically operated product. Warning, use this side. It's got more warnings on it. Oh, this is Bachman Industries, model number 6607. Little controller there. And there's no frayed wires, so I'm pretty hopeful that we will be able to figure out how to get a train rolling today. So let's, let me set that, why don't you set that off to the side over there and hand me this. Looks like some decor, little trees, different colors. Be careful not to get it everywhere. Some of them aren't in the best of shape. I don't know if you can, I'm trying to not let all the foliage fall off. They're kind of stuck together there. I'm sure you can reshape and probably powder these down. I don't know. I don't know if that rose originally went to it. That's not the scale. But it looks yeah, like looks one, nice. two, there's a green one. There's a bag of them. I've already pulled out one, two, three, four, five. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like we got eleven trees here. I'll just give you a this is probably the worst shape one out of the bunch. You can see it's kind of misshapen. And to be honest with you, I don't know. Maybe if you're gonna have a rough looking forest. Looks like fall decor. And I'll be vacuuming at my desk today. So we will set that off to the side. Let's pick up, just grab from the top. I was just trying to get these to see. I know, but there's probably gonna be a lot of track down below. This looks like um, 
paper cutout, so I'm not sure if this was... I don't know if you can see that there. It has instructions on it. They're all paper or cardboard cutouts. I can see that my camera isn't liking this whatsoever. I don't know if there's a much of a market in that. I haven't, I haven't looked. It looks like there might be a, a two-story station, Belleville. That's all it's lo loaded. Oh, it's there's like a train station. It looks like it's got some billboard signs. It looks like there's a silo top, some speed limit signs. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll have to do some research to see when these were printed and see if there's much of a market for them. Let's put that over by there. I need to get all my this dust. I'll put it in that bowl. And a little 1981 Matchbox car. A little 4x4 truck. I don't know if that somebody had done some modifications to the truck or what, but it looks like it's a little truck that's all rusted out. But um, we'll see. This one here it has a sticker of ten dollars on it. We'll have to peel that off. Maybe I got a heck of a deal when they finally decide to throw it off. This is a Althern, Athern, A T H E A R N miniature trains and miniature controller. This looks like a little bit more advanced. It has the speed control here. Along with this is the power on off. Um, it looks like it's got an overload power, the direction button. It looks like it's got it's got control for the track and accessories. So 120 volt AC transformer. So let's set that. So right now we're up to two controllers. Oh. Another little tree. Okay, this is a coal tipple from um, Lifelike Operating Coal Tipple. You control the action. I guess you might be able to put stuff in there and have it. It's in box. Let's make sure that what's in the box is what it actually is. Can you hold that box for me there as I pull this out? So here, here's that. It has the ramps that go. I'm going to try to put this together while we're sitting here. You know, I, I'm sitting here like I know what the heck I'm doing, but a little secret, I don't. Okay. I would run the track right over the top. I don't have any... Is that the... Does that go on the bottom? Um, it may... Okay. Looks like the train car. Oh, you know what? That one piece we had, I bet that goes... Where'd that little piece go? This one will probably need the repair. I don't know what I do with that little piece. Is Wait, that... is it over there? It was just a real small. This one does appear to have some damage. If you if you look, these wheels have come disc. Excuse my green screen effects. It's the shadow that that's casting. It doesn't have the sh the wheels attached, and the wheel itself. It doesn't have the thing that clips into the little hole here. But anyway. I suppose somebody that, let's go ahead and throw this up, just to kind of show you what it looks like. Pile your coal in there, and somehow, I believe, there may be more damage to this than I think. It looks like 
Oh. Oh. There. I'll have to take a little super glue into this. This little door is supposed to slide slide open and the little pin has come off of it. So we will have to do some plan on doing a little bit of work to this. Let me uh, put this back in the box real quick. Can you help me with that? Yeah. Izzy's getting anxious. She's ready to put this thing together and see if we can get a train to go around the track, I think. Do I have the instructions too? Yes, it does have the instructions. I should have read the instructions before trying to put it together and I would have a better understanding as to how it worked. So with that, I believe you just take your train track right over the top. So that one definitely does need some repairs done to it. Maybe a little super glue, get all the pieces back together. This will go back there. Okay, Izzy has got us a tote to look at. First of all, that can be garbage. It's just some kind of advertisement or whatnot. It looks like we have a building of some sort, which I don't think it's actually a building. This here is on wheels. So this looks like it may not go to this. So to me, this looks like it might go to a crane or something. I don't know. If y'all have ever can see that, maybe tell. Oh, that goes up and out of the box. This is a roof of some sort. I don't think it goes to what's in the box. Maybe I'll find other parts. Here's another little piece. This looks like it might be part of a bridge where a piece of track would fit on top of that like so. There's like a bull. <laughs> Don't know. Or that's a more like a ram. Yeah, that's, that's why that, this is our smart one. <laughs> Okay, I'm just looking down in the box itself. These are definitely either going to be determined to be scrap. Looks like these had sat in some water at some point. There's a little, little piece. Who knows what some of this stuff is. Another little piece. Now these are some connectors. Now this one, like I said, this, and here's a little Wesson car, and it's just the, the top of it. But I have this whole, oh, here's another, another bridge connector. Yes. These are all gonna have to be gone through and determine what can be salvaged and what can't. Basically, it's a whole, box of track. I'll go get my phone please. It's in the in the office by the window. This is a switch. And like I said I'm It's City. Did you answer it? No, I it was too late. Okay. So, I mean, there's probably about 30 or 40 pieces of track here. I don't know if it was in this tote in the, from the get-go. Some of these definitely look like they might have suffered some water damage. I'll have to go through each piece and see if they can be cleaned. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Or it could be just that it's on the plastic, so I don't think it's rust, but it may have. But this is an Atlas 9-inch snap track. So you want to set that over there? Okay. And we have this bag of goodies. Let's see what we got in there. There's a bridge.
It's a bag of goodies within a bag of goodies. Let's put all these. Oh, you know what? Here. This, I believe, is the crane that may go to. I was this. thinking it kind of looked like the blue was. There is some damage here, so that would have to be repaired. Um. I was going to show you, it actually, there's a little knob right here. You going to turn that knob and de demo it. The knob actually turns a little crane there. And it's got a claw, it looks like, here. You know, it's, it's for um, picking up shipping containers, it looks like. So I believe... I would have to double check. I mean, I, like I said, there's some of this stuff I'm just going to have to do research on. This does not snap on here. Oh, you know what? I think it does. Hold that. I, I almost wonder if it goes. Like that. You can learn train construction with rods. Can't do it. You can't hold this and put that together with two hands. Isabel is going through this stage where she is learning that sometimes you just need help. She likes to do things on her own and be independent, which is good. But it is also good to know when to ask for help. You have to kind of sp spread them apart. careful with these these plastic pieces up here those will have to all be repaired so anyway there we go the crane is assembled and you can see there is some some damage this little piece needs to be re-glued there's a few pieces here and there that could be re-glued but overall you know it, somebody might want to add it to their collection so let's keep that together It looks like this might be a smaller version. I don't see any instructions. This really does have a lot of, I'll see if I can open the bag up and show, get a better look in there. There's a lot of these bridge bridge pieces. I was about to say probably 10 or 15. There's a, a shipping container. That is for the most, there's a few pieces. There's probably another two, four, six pieces of track in there. Like I said, I don't know if you can see all that, but that was all included. And then, <coughs> let's see if what we have here. Here's a little light. It's like maybe an LED with the leads coming down. And there's all instructions on operating blinking bridge. So that's what this is. This is the blinking, ugh, the blinking lights for a blinking bridge, which I don't know if I have in here. I'll have to look into it. This is instructions for number 99 with trestle. So some instruction sheets. And these look like a lot more train tracks that were actually taken better care of. I'd say there's one, let's see. I've got some straight, quite a few straight pieces in here. I bet you could connect these ones to the other ones that we found. They yeah, could make a big, and with the, yeah, you'd, with everything we have, we could probably do a nice figure eight, I don't know. But anyway, here's a slew of straight pieces along with a handful of curved pieces. Let me put all these back in here. I'm going to have a mess. But I found where the trees came from. Oh yeah. But nothing, it looks 
it doesn't look like anything else. Oh, there's the trestle. This was a trestle. We'll throw all this back in there. Um, oh, that goes in this. Put this in that other box. The one that we already went through. Which one? Try to keep all this together. Looks like a piece that fell off of the platform. So some of it is damage. There is wear on some of it. But we will figure that out. What do you got there? Oh. Looks like here is a made in Austria. It's just the engine body oh. with the light. Oh, there. Baltimore and Ohio. This is probably goes to this one and has. I don't know for sure. I just saw that that one was. It may go to it. You may be. You may be right. I'm wondering if the light. It might go through this hole. That's what I was just second. Right? That's what I was looking at. I don't know. I, I some things I, I want to look up and see. We can see if it goes up through that hole, but I don't want to cram something in that may not go there. You can see that light, that wire. You're right. So we'll have to we'll have to fiddle with that to see if it actually goes to this. It does fit in there, but I don't know. Oh, there it goes. It did. So uh, we just pieced together this Baltimore and Ohio engine. And I didn't see any branding on it, so I don't know. All I see is made in Austria, and there is a R-O-C-O, -O. so I'll have to look up that, that mark, but all the, all the, the sticker, I mean, I don't know if that stickers are painted on, I guess the I in Baltimore there, there might have come off just a little bit, oh, it's in green, so you can see where the I in Baltimore had come off. We'll set that over here. Okay. That's a, these, are, these are the leads that just connect up to the tray, the track. Oh. This is a throttle par pack. This looks like it's got some age to it, so who knows if it works. It's got a circuit breaker. It's called Throttle Pack Model 500, Model Rectifier Corporation, Brooklyn, New York. As you can see there, it has direction control, power control, there's full and, and oh, there's power on, and there's a power full or pulse, and a circuit breaker. It is missing a knob. We'll see if that's in the box later. And uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know a ton about trains. And what have, oh. This is a McDonald's toy, I can already tell. Wizard of Oz. Its characters and elements are trademark of Time Warner or of Turner Entertainment. Blockbuster in 1997. So I'm sure. Uh, let me hold it up there a little bit. Sure isn't showing the colors. I, I apologize for the video quality. I'm really working on getting these colors straightened out. Here is another. Um, this is this one's Model Power. This is the brand. It is a. Has, this one just has forward, reverse, and stop all the way up to fast, which is 100. Another train power. Let's do, let's do all the train cars. Okay, this isn't a train car. I don't even know, I don't recognize the, the maker. Major, Majorette, made in France. Let's see if I can, there's another little matchbox type car. Texaco. Here's, this one feels heavy? pretty heavy, but yeah. it looks like it does have some damage. Life light power motor modal power locomotive with light 
and you can't really see it in the in that this is what kind of um, leads me to believe that whoever had these didn't take much care of it unless somebody warped this to show that there's an engine fire or it heated up inside I don't know but as you can see there I don't think that's the way it's supposed to look <laughs> the whole outer portion of it oh, oh, whoa see how that looks oh yeah how that's all like it? all melted all melted there it looks like it was made pretty pretty good quality but who knows who knows the stories that train model trains could tell huh Maybe a mouse crossed the track and it short-circuited everything. And okay, look, you're getting way, way. Away. I'm telling you, she's getting anxious. She's getting way ahead of me. She's already got like ten things for me to look at. This is. I think it's another McDonald's. Toy. Now this is a transformer, part of a transformer. It looks like. We don't know what it is. I know that it does transform into something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But too. it doesn't have all of it there. It looks like it's half the body. Yeah. Because you can tell I never had transformers when I was a kid, because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to. I think that's just went like this. Oh, those are the. Those are the fists. Oh. No. I know it does have hands. That's all I can tell you. The hands fold down. Okay, they go out like that. Oh, there's the shoulders. That's what that is. Let's fold this in. It looks like it has big ears, like bunny ears. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't turn any more than that. Anyway, as you can see, it's part of a transformer or something. Okay. Someone's keychain. This is a power model. Ship Union Pacific. What's the... Union Pacific's number 6930. And again, I apologize for the lighting. It's still in the box. Of course, I am banking on all this being used, so. Okay, so right now we. Here is a Great Northern cattle car. I guess it might be better if I pulled them out of there. I could just turn the green screen off. How about I... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I do some adjusting to it. She's making noise over there. Oh, that, that was worse. I'm just making everything worse, I think. I won't be able to get it back. We'll see. We'll just deal with it for now. But as you can see, there's the cattle car. Maybe we get to pull it out too. Doors close. Well, that I mean, it may just be my lighting as well. Okay. It is what it is. We'll work on that. I use a green screen just to 
cover up my plain Jane walls back there. I don't have anything cool. It's cool that I'm covering up. This is kind of a messed up box. It's a Bachman Ho HO scale. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know if this is actually HO. Yeah, this these are HO. The end scales are a lot smaller. This is a little Exxon car. I wonder if it's my brightness. I'll just okay. You can go. Did I freeze? Oh, you can go call it back if you want. Okay, just you're fine. You can go call her back. Sorry. Go into the other room. I just want to tell her that we're doing it. My oldest daughter that's in the Navy just um, called a few minutes ago, so Izzy is going to go call her back. And I'm trying to cut down on the brightness a little bit. Yeah, that's not going to help. Anyway, that's a little Exxon. Let's see if you can see the Exxon symbol. This one seems to be in pretty good condition. And it was, it may actually be Bachman. I cannot tell. Was it, did she need something? Was it an emergency? No, she was just asking what was going to be for because I called her and then she couldn't. So okay. She said she is jacking those. This is a 40 foot tank car, Dow, model power. Still in the box. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not thinking these are new in box. These are more than likely stored in their boxes. Here is a Santa Fe engine. This one looks in a lot better condition than the last one. It's again model power and GP9 locomotive Santa Fe number six seven five zero dash one. We'll just pull it apart. Take it out of the box. The engines are the heaviest part. I think that's where all the... So I don't see anything glaring out to me that looks like there's something wrong with it. Close her back up. So there's another engine. I don't know what I'm going to do with that warped engine. That is just crazy. Okay. Now this is a Lionel Pacific switcher. This is made by IHC, which I, I looked it up earlier just to see what IHC, IHC continues to bring you the finest HO scale model locomotives. But they are, um, oh, it says up here, that's where I got it. International Hobby Corporation. And this one looks like, let me, it's very interesting. This is, I'll show you what it looks like in the package. I don't know what all that noise is. It's like the old steam engine type. And I can't tell. It looks like somebody had done repair on this at one point in time. The only reason I'm saying that is there's a little wooden, I, I'm assuming this is not original, little handmade switching mechanism or a mechanism to connect to. I, I'm thinking. There's like sand or something in it. Oh, you know, it's, it's probably filler and it's leaking out. But anyway, it, it, it hooks in there like so. So somebody has definitely done some re repair to this, but it's a little engine with the coal car and switch switcher. And it's, it's definitely been repaired. So, but it's still a cool little piece. I think whether it has any value, only time will tell.
kind of crazy about all those beads that are coming out of it. I heard that rattling when I had the, um, when I was moving it around. I was like, what the heck is that? But my daughter does not like bugs, and there was a bug on one. And there's a bunch of dead bugs in here. That's why you took all the stuff. We'll clean all that out. We may just toss it one key, that one container. She's finding dead bugs. It's, this stuff has definitely been sitting in storage. So there's another engine. Okay, so... Here's another... The engine itself... I don't know if there's much going to be much value except for just for the aesthetics of it. It's kind of cool, cool looking. That's another engine. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to have any. We can't just keep. There's another um, caboose. This one here is Bachman caboose. Here is a Burlington Northern, and it is, I don't see a maker mark on it. It's like a grain car. Well, it, my, it, my green screen isn't going to pick that up because it is green. I've got that. Union Pacific, another... Looks like a caboose. I found it in this, but it doesn't show the top, so. This just says life like. I don't see the. Uh, I don't see a brand marking on that. Maybe life like is a brand. Here's another. This is a carrier of some port. These are Bachman. It's like a. I don't know if it carries dirt or what it is. If you know, leave. If you know what any of this stuff is, leave comments down below. Okay. Here's a refrigeration car. I guess Lifelike is probably the brand because if I'm seeing it going. And then here's a coal carrier. This one is, I don't see any markings on it whatsoever, so I don't know. L and N. See, we're just, I, I still have to get through all this stuff. Yeah, I'm just this one's in a little rougher condition. Another engine, Santa Fe. It may look okay once it's been cleaned up. My stack is getting high over here. Man, this one's really heavy. This one seems a little heavier than the stuff rattling around in there. I don't know. This is a says I don't see any let me see here maybe just be, this lifelike as well another engine Union Pacific we can handle it 3901 did we go oh, this is Morrison Knudsen. We just had another one similar to this, a Burlington Northern one. I wasn't sure if you had that one or not. I thought you might know. I don't know if these were just something that somebody set up. On the on their tracks. Um, we have four little tanks here. S8125 Tiger. Th 
This one's the CHAR AMX30. This one did have a, a wheel. Is it this one? No. Yeah, it's up here. There's a with the track rides on. It's off of it. Here's a US. Um, this is the M's 48 Patton. I have little flags on the back of it. I'll try to catch capture. That was the United States flag. Here's that one. I don't know if this one is French or what. I don't know my flags. Wait, this one doesn't have a flag. This is. I can't read this because they put their "Made in Hong Kong" stamp right over the top of it. It is actually. It is also missing one of the, the wheels that the track rides on. This is French. Oh, what about this one? I couldn't tell if that was Swiss or not. No idea. Eighty-one thirty. This one has on the front of it. So anyway, four one. tanks thrown in. But I know that this one is. What else we got next? Yeah, this. <laughs> Oh. 1997 Boston something rather oh that's a pencil top or what there's a goat I don't know what their thing was with goats and rams okay we talked about all these were host HO scale oh wait okay these are a little different yeah, those ones are... Because see these... I guess that might be... It might be the same wheel. Okay. Oh, and there's this one. So, I know, I'm going to go over that in a minute. Can you hand me all the reels? Let's go over. I got some switches. These are... The ones I showed before were all the open bottom reels. So these are solid all throughout. I don't know the difference. If you guys... There might just be the... The way they connect up i don't know so if you guys know let me know see how they have the hard plastic below the track where these and there's some more of these track they're all open and uh, this is probably where we connect uh, here's the connector for the uh, controls some more track i've found um, I'll take that box outside. This one doesn't have everything to it. Oh, there's that yeah. piece I was looking for. Or a piece someone took. I don't know where it was. To that. That's probably why I lost it in the first place. I, I don't know if this, because this is probably something to some accessory for, and it's still got the plastic on it. Don't know. And a, you guys can tell me what that is, but it is missing the front wheels. So it may be in this mess somewhere, or we sold these parts. Give me that one right there. You already showed that one. Huh? I thought you already showed. No. That. Oh. You know, I was talking about say, uh, scale before. which I'll have to look up and see which scale this is, but this will show you the difference. So we'll take a similar car. This is, this here is the HO scale. And as you can see, the difference in the, the, the scale is determined by the distance between the inside of the wheels on either side. You can, as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, this is another car that was in the lot. And. Here's the car. Uh, where do we put our semi? Okay, this little semi tractor trailer was in there too. We would make a nice accessory parked in the train yard. It doesn't quite fit this semi that I found unless you sit it on top and it rides like that. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's happening. And we had another sad looking tree. 
And a Pinsoil, number 30. This is Revel Inc. Just another little car that ended up being in the lot. So, anyway, folks, that is what I got for, let's say, $40. It ended up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight eight engines and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen cars of course some of this stuff does have some damage to it that you know won't be able to necessarily be sold as is but it, it can be sold as parts what did i say 18 cars Nine, 19 cars 19 cars, 7, 8 engines, yeah, 8 engines, 19 cars, a lot of tracks, some accessories, and I had the, I had a couple switches, and a couple four controls, oh, there's another, so let's say, I think it, at the, uh, this is another engine, so, no, it's not, this is an engine, this is another car. And then we had four tanks and some trees and some miscellaneous. Anyway, hopefully we can get some of this stuff working and I'll be able to add that to the video. But that's it for this portion of it. Thanks for watching. Again, leave comments down below if you have information you'd like to share about trains. If you think I made the worst deal of the week, let me know that too. Because, hey, every day is a journey and we learn something new as we go on it. So anyway, that is it for this portion.